Hi, and welcome to Window Cleaning Dude. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about buckets. So as a new window cleaner just starting out, obviously you need to know everything you need to know about buckets. And buckets are actually very important. You wouldn't think that maybe there'd be that much to talk about when it comes to buckets, but there actually is. So let's get started. So the first bucket we really wanna talk about is your holster bucket. Now. This is something you definitely want to buy. Now I know if you're if you're going to be you're thinking, hey, I'm just going to be doing storefront. You still want a holster bucket, and the reason why is because sometimes your customer is going to want you to come inside and clean the inside of the store. You're not always just going to be doing outside. So if you're a window cleaner and you're going to be in this business uh, and be pro be a professional window cleaner, whether you whether you're doing storefront, commercial, or residential, you need a holster bucket. And the reason why you want a holster bucket is it's going to hold your washing wand and your squeegee so that when you go inside any place of business or home, you're not dripping all over the place. It's also nice because it's holding your gear, it's all right there, and you're, you can use your hands to do whatever else is you need to do. So, there are different style holster buckets, they all get the job done, it's just, it just comes down to your matter of preference. I'm always switching from bucket to bucket, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that really I think does matter with the holster bucket is whether or not it can detach, and this is a detachable one, I currently have it detached off my utility belt, um, I like to be able to detach my bucket because there's sometimes certain instances where I don't want to have to lug my bucket, my washing wand, and my squeegee inside a home. Uh, like if I'm doing track cleaning and I'm going to be brushing the tracks and doing the vacuuming, I don't want this on me at that time, but I still want my utility belt and access to everything else on my utility belt. So I'll, I'll go ahead and release this to save me some weight there. And then also just the liability of it possibly tipping over when I'm kneeling down and scrubbing out the tracks. Uh, I don't have to worry about this tipping over. That actually happened to me once uh, when I was beginning window cleaning. I was at a home. I was trying to scrub the tracks on the sliding glass door and somehow this sucker got tipped over sideways. I hadn't emptied my bucket out because I was new and the stuff just went everywhere, right? All over their carpet. I mean, it was like a disaster. And so that's a good, a good time when you want to detach this bucket is if you think you're going to be kneeling down, cleaning out some tracks and doing brushing and vacuuming. That's just one example. There are other times where you want to, you know, uh, be able to detach your bucket without having to take off your entire utility belt because uh, you still want access to the rest of your utility belt. Now, uh, speaking of buckets and speaking of accidents, let's just go ahead and talk about that example, which is that make sure every time you go into a place of business or home that you first empty out your bucket ring out your washing wand uh, before you go in. I just want to keep throwing that tip out there because that's a really important thing to keep in mind. You don't want to have that situation happen to you like happened to me and I'm sure it's happened to other window cleaners as well. And it's, trust me, it's a mind blow. When it happens, you're just like, you just go into like shell shock and you're like, oh my gosh, uh, what do you do, right? Like what do you do at that point when you've just emptied your entire bucket on someone's carpet? It's not cool. So. Don't do that. Uh, learn from others' mistakes, like my own. That's why I'm here to mentor you, is to teach you everything I know, and that's one of the things that I know from experience. Okay, now let's move on to the next bucket. So, just starting out in window cleaning, it's a very common thing for window cleaners to want to just buy these cheap round buckets. Now this actually isn't a cheap one, this is actually, uh, well, I don't remember where I got this bucket. Usually it's an Etore bucket. Etore's, uh, usually on the side of these. This isn't my Atori bucket, but regardless, uh, you can buy buckets like this at Home Depot and Lowe's. They're very inexpensive, they're like a buck 80. Now here's the problem, uh, well, so now here's the problem is that like you got your washing wand right and you're new to window cleaning. Well, you can't dip this whole thing down into the bucket, so you're doing this number, you're flipping it, and you're doing this. Why is that a problem? Because when you're doing this and doing this, it's flipping all over the place, right? It's landing on you, it's hitting the windows, um, it's also taking a little bit more time, not a lot, but in this game we're trying to shave down as much time as possible in every way possible. So in your entire process, you're trying to eliminate uh, time as much as possible to narrow down that time frame so that you can go out and get another job that day and make more money. So every little thing matters, every little thing adds up. You know, when you're doing a lot of things at a place of business and you're doing this a lot and then add up all the other things that you're doing that are taking time that you could be shaving down on the time. It all adds up for in terms of getting that job, job done maybe a half an hour faster or an hour faster. That means you can clean longer at the next job or be able to add 
another job at the end of the day. You know, if you're cleaning three places and you can save three hours, then maybe you can go do another small job at the end of the day. So everything adds up. You want to be thinking about that. Now the other problem with this bucket is right here, and I think it's pretty obvious. You've got this metal uh, handle here with this cheap plastic uh, grip. I've already duct taped this thing because it's just falling apart. When you're lugging five gallons of water like this around a house all day or around a commercial building all day long, day after day, your hand's going to get sore. Now you're already using these hands to do everything else from detailing to lifting ladders to using the pole to washing one and squeegee. You don't want to be wearing out your hand even more by lugging around five gallons of water in a bucket like this with a cheap handle like this. The other problem with these buckets is when I first started out, the bottoms crack out pretty quickly on these cheap buckets. They're not very thick. They're not very well made. So the other problem is if you're going to Home Depot and it's the orange bucket, it says let's do this on the side and Home Depot on the other side. That's totally lame. Doesn't look very professional and you know, so to me those kind of appearances matter, especially since you don't have a lot to represent yourself as a business to begin with. It's your uniform, it's your professional appearance, it's your gear, it's your car, it's your logo. You know, you want those things all to go together. So, you know, if yellow is one of your colors, then get a yellow bucket. If blue is one of your color, then get a blue bucket. But don't get the round bucket for doing your uh, window cleaning. I'm going to show you the bucket you should get here in a second. What do I use this round bucket for? I use it to hold my rags. That's it. And then you know, I got some white scrubby pads in here and then sometimes I will have other tools in here. You could get like a bucket buddy and put it on the outside of this and stuff in your tools so that you know you don't have to keep going back and forth to your vehicle for things. And then as you go around the house or around the business you lug this bucket with you as, long, as well as with your other bucket, your ladder. You just kind of keep moving your station around the, as you go. So. That's the only time I would use this round bucket and I would not get a Home Depot, bu uh, Home Depot bucket. I would, I would buy uh, a bucket that matches uh, my colors or my gear um, and it doesn't say let's do this on the side and Home Depot on the side or Lowe's or whatever else. So that's why I went and bought this particular bucket. Etore makes a nice bucket which says Etore on there. That might be kind of nice because at least it's window, cl window cleaning related. <clears throat> Now let's talk about the bucket you should buy as a professional window cleaner. And it doesn't have to be this color, but this is a good example. It's a rectangle bucket. Why do you want to buy this bucket? Because first of all, your window washing wand goes straight in and out nice and easily. Secondly, you can throw your extra channels in here. It's got this nice thick handle. As you can see, it has a nice thick grip. So if you are lugging your bucket around, um, it's going to be easier on your hand. It uh, also carries more water. The other one's a five gallon. This is a six gallon, but it looks like you can actually put in seven gallons if you really want to put in that much water. I don't recommend putting in that much water because it's that much more weight that you have to lug. But the nice thing about having lots of water is that as your water gets dirty, you don't have to change it out as quickly. And if you can, it's ideal if you'd only have to change your water once. Uh, and that would be when you go to do the inside. So, and that's after you change the water from the screen. So, you know, first you're going to do your screens. You're going to change your water at that point after you've cleaned the screens. And then if you can go around the entire building without having to change your, your water again, that's great because it saves you the time of having to fill it up, put in the soap, mix it, do all that, figure out where you're going to dump it. That's not going to bother the customer. So that's why you want to have a nice good size bucket. The other nice thing about this bucket is you can put a lid on this bucket. So if you're like a storefront window cleaner or you just don't have access to a lot of water to whatever job you're going to. You can put a lid on here and save the water that's in here as you transport to your next uh, to your next job in your vehicle. And then also, if you buy the Sorbo leaf cart, you can attach. You can put this bucket on the cart and then drag the bucket behind you with that cart. I, uh, if you watch some of my videos, I'm actually using that in some of my videos, and you can see how that could be very beneficial because now you're not actually lugging five, six, seven gallons of water around the business all day long. Uh, which is going to save you on time and energy. And then there are other wheel options and other tray options you can put in a bucket like this for cleaning. So do the right thing, starting off in your window cleaning business, buy a professional grade bucket. It is more than the cheap bucket for sure, but you are going to make all that money back very quickly in your first window cleaning job, especially if you're doing residential, you're going to make all your money back right away. And you're going to be so glad that you had bought this bucket. It also looks more professional. 
and it's just a better bucket all around. So don't buy the cheap bucket, buy the good bucket. And just like I, like I say in all my videos, buy professional grade everything. Get top end. It's gonna make a big difference in your process and saving you time and saving you trouble and with the whole process. It's gonna speed up everything. It's gonna make you make money faster, okay? So that's pretty much it for buckets. That's all I'm gonna go over here. I guess the only other thing I would go over since I have it on hand is the drip guard. This is gonna go on the end of your holster bucket uh, when you go inside a place of business or a home. Other than that, there's really not much more I'm gonna say about buckets here today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found this information useful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel and be part of the window cleaning community here on YouTube and to show YouTube that you do find these videos useful. Uh, comment down below for anything else you wanna know about. Hit that notification bell and don't forget to go to windowcleaningdude.com where you can learn about all this stuff and a whole lot more. It's a business in a box. It's a free franchise for you to start your window cleaning, cleaning business start to finish. I've got all this gear there, links to this gear as to where you can buy it. Um, I've got tutorials on everything from A to Z in terms of window cleaning. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode.